Oh, no, no, no. This is the end. You're just jammed in there. And now I have to turn around on this trail. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. I back up. I back right into a tree. I crush my bumper. Brand new truck. Damn. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That's That was a nice little thousand dollar mistake. Damn, man. And I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, in my adult life, it was truly the dumbest thing. It's like some Sam Hyde shit. Yeah, I know what I did! You think I feel good about you tattooing your whole skin? Shrink your legs down and grow your fat out and sew sacks on your body. It cost me 85000 It's making me feel guilty for what I did to her. Are you kidding me? Should I start competing in women's sports? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank that God for Elon Musk, man. He's going to save everything. everything. This has got to stop. This Chinese new speak. 1984. How are they getting away saying. with this? Uh, I think I'm staying home today for $25 to leave my house. I'm fine, man. You want to drive a GT or not? I don't need to look at it anymore. I'm okay. <laughs> you need to look at it. How are you going to know what to I'm aspire? I'm fine. By? But faced with something so like breathtaking and you say humanity is just a 90s cinema carpet pattern something so immense and you're saying and you're 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 what you say is yeah well it looks like the telephone booth from doctor who you know that if it's in a movie it has to be real not only real the most valid point on the topic <laughs> It's actually a better way of doing research than doing research by watching thousands of different viewpoints, which, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Does a writer want to look foolish? That goes through a vetting process. Then no writer is going to stamp his work with some fake facts. Do you think Hallmark would ever let a movie go through with some not true fact about abortion? Definitely not. If you take Persique, you are safe from interactions of CBD. Persique is already formed, and it is not metabolic. Yeah, well, Persique actually, six, so you're good to go. If you take a factor, not to burst your bubble there, uh, Haley, um, but if it has less than 20% CBDAs and cannabinoids, then your SSI inhibitors, or actually the synapse is going to fire only 15%. Exactly. Persique is already formed, and then when you take my 300 through Venmo, and then I go to your apartment you once a month. Notice a decrease in efficacy of a Fexer. Mm, like if you are taking for depression, some depression symptoms might come back. Okay, that's it. What is this supermodel saying? I can't even pay attention. <laughs> I'm just too busy getting a hard on. <laughs> All the blood's going to my dick. <laughs> Holy shit. God, if this girl can stop talking, it's going to be embarrassing when I come in front of grown men. <laughs> Her was cut off. Her nose was cut off. Her eyeballs were blocked out. Daphnil and this is bupropion, and they both cause a closed conformation. Versus these other two drugs here, which I can't say the name of because of community guidelines. But when they bind to the dopamine, and you can't say a drug name because it'll, it's against the, the Instagram effect, community guidelines. Thank God for Elon Musk, man. He's gonna save everything. This has got to stop. This Chinese new speak. 1984. If we ever meet overall, Elon Musk, really I'm showing cool him this man. video. Follow for more. Because first of all, if he grinds, then me and him have the same exact taste. I want to be like, Elon, look at this. And it's just like a picture of something I would like crank my c to. And he's like this. Oh, that's quite good. That's funny. Oh, that's that's quite good. It's actually quite good. Did you see the girl who talks about the pills? He's like this. Yep. I'm like this. He's like, mm -hmm. And then he stops the party and asks only me if I want to go to space. <laughs> he's like this. Hey, well, do you want to go to space? I'm like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we walk on a catwalk overlooking there's like a there's a 98 pound arts art students being manufactured in mass mm -hmm. and he's got a funny name for them it's called his bedroom or something mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that laboratory is called his bedroom mm -hmm. my bedroom mm -hmm. do girls hit you up on instagram no mm. i like that mm -hmm. i think they know i have a wife leave me alone leave me alone i I'm asexual. Mm -hmm. I don't even care anymore. Mm. I literally, I don't. I do my piss thing and that's it. I just do my piss thing. <laughs> I do, I'm in, I'm out, I get my piss done. Yeah, some people want to fuck that's all, all I do. and like like play with bits and stuff like that. I do my little pee pee thing and then I go. <laughs> I do my little tiny pee pee trick where I piss in my own mouth in the I shower. Do pee pee, a little poo poo, scat. 
I'm gone. Pack. I'm gone. Gone faster than a scat pack, even though Home I'm, for scat. Dinner. I'm into scat. Home for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that goes my scat pack. Sounds like I, a scat pack when I'm driving. But it sounds like a scat pack when I'm, I'm doing scat my pack. sex thing. <laughs> Trust me. The pack on my back is for scat. <laughs> if there was another guy here that was in the shit as much as me, hey. it would definitely be called a scat pack. Well, you and me, we could form our own little scat pack here and there, you know? Uh... I think we'd get ourselves into a lot of sh deep shit. Piss me. <laughs> Maybe a bit of deep pee pee. <laughs> Pinkies up. <laughs> I am a history teacher. I just had two girls. I had two girls hit me up. One had tattoos. Told her to get tattoo removal and find a normal guy. And then another girl hit me up saying that she would get surgery if I wanted her to. Yeah, good. I told her, I told her no. Don't get do eyes that. put on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Put eyes in your cheeks. <laughs> Eyeballs moving in your cheeks, each one, in the nipple. Make yourself look like a lemon. <laughs> I want you to look like a lemon. I want you to feel, look, and smell like a lemon. <laughs> Make your body pear-shaped. Make your skin leathery Spon and yellow. Spongy, leathery, yellow. Yes. Lemony. Be zesty. Have some zest. Have some pop. I want two leaves growing out of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I want two little green leaves about a foot long <laughs> growing out of your throat. Put a sticker on you. <laughs> Don't wear clothes. Just put on a sticker. Put a big sticker right on your belly, and then I want it to have barcodes and then the farm that you're from in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I want a weird state where, where I wouldn't expect lemons to be grown. Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I want a weird pesticide code in your f***ing barcode numbers. I'm the number four. Stay away from number four lemons. What? You made me like this, Sam. Damn. <laughs> Why, a, Sam? That's a you made me be a lemon. That's a metaphor right there. Holy shit. What the hell? Now I'm a lemon with leaves growing out of my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like lemons anymore. What do you want me to say? <laughs> oh, my God, man. Yeah, I know what I did. You think I feel good about the fact that you did all the surgery to make you like a lemon? Damn. You tattooed your whole skin with shadows? Using white to try to have luster on the lemon rind? And you grew those fucking ridiculous skin tab leaves? Took me four hours to make the sticker for you? Shrink your legs down and grow your fat out and sew sacks on your body? It's making me feel guilty for what I did to her. Cost me 85000 <laughs> Did you see Dave Chappelle got tackled? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is when did his uh, agent tell him to get attacked? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is cool. Yeah, it nothing is cool. makes anybody look more foolish than that. Did you see the kid that did it? He looked like oh, they twist, X -X -X They twisted him up pretty bad there. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, they really mangled his it's ass. They his name's Isaiah. Why do why do uh, demon uh, black people that are demonic? And that's not a diss on black people. I'm saying no, no. One, he did the devil horns. The before. ones who are demonic the thing. ones who are demonic. Why don't why do they have, why are they always named Isaiah? Biblical name. What is the name Isaiah, Joey? Do you recognize that? What does that mean? It means to, for John Podesta to get on a plane and go out there and see him. It is a dog whistle from the gods. God saves. John Podesta and his brother Tony Podesta get on the plane and go visit them and give them a mission. The name Isaiah somehow has been twisted and corrupted, and it's come to mean psychotic, uh, schizophrenic black person knife attack, which is actually what I, the name Isaiah means now at this point. He did a devil That's horn. That's crazy. They f***ed him up. Look a, at that kid, yeah, man. A knife times. gun. He won't face felony assault charges. Why? Because he was an actor? Yes. Because it was all it was all agents like, this slap thing really made Chris a lot of money. He's going on tour now. He wrote a song called Come After the Comedian. No, a song named after the comedian. No Name Trapper. That's fire. This kid's fire. This kid just <laughs> that should be the album millionaire. cover. Yeah, he did just make himself a millionaire. He's got a product to sell. Yeah. A song that he did two years ago. It's actually a well-executed plan. That's how he make money. That's, how, that's, that's true. He's making... A, that's a bigger move than what most people he are He was doing. waiting. It's a two-year plan. That's a bigger... That's on, that, Hey, no, real talk. That's a bigger move than what most people are doing. That's bigger than the guy who's like, this, I'm going to get my lawn green this year. Yeah. He's like, fuck smoke. That's bigger than the guy that says, maybe I should do a little preparatory work and see if STEM is the right college path for me. Maybe I should ask around and see if that's what I think I'd like to do. Nah, dirty sprite. This guy made a song. Two years later, he attacked Dave Chappelle on stage. Uh, and said it in the song two years before a that. And now he's pro he'll, he probably, you think he'll end up being a millionaire? Yes. I think he'll, I think that's that rings true. I would not be surprised if the guy that attacked Dave Chappelle ends up being a millionaire somehow from it. And Dave Chappelle's going to be friends with him after. Watch. 
He's going to be like this, man, people go through things all the time. Yeah, one heartfelt apology. Yeah, it's going to be like a cool thing about Crazy. how cool they, like, I know you didn't want to kill me, man. Yeah, Dave didn't press charges. He yeah. won't be charged with felony people assault. People go through all the time. Crazy. That's what he's going to say, and then people are going to be like, oh, man, and then Chris Rock's still going to suck dick. Mm -hmm. Then Chris Rock will for, and still not figure out how to be funny. Mm -hmm. um, can we look up, look up image of a human cell? Is this real or is this CG? Supposedly, it says it, it says it's an image of a human cell, but is it is it computer generated? Okay, the image in the post is a digitally rendered model of a eukaryotic cell designed as an interactive scientific learning tool. Extremely misleading to suggest that as an image of a real human cell as it would exist in its natural state. Uh huh huh huh. So we've been being lied to by our science teachers. Yes, but nevertheless, uh, f kind of fascinating. Imagine if we couldn't take the f***ing pictures of what they really look like in a cell. I don't think we can, can we? No, like, like if, if the human mind couldn't handle what it actually looked like. Right, yeah. Like you zoomed in on it and it was like zooming in on Google Earth. Yeah. It was like a homeless guy fucking on Kensington. There was a Facebook post and all the comments were like, this is proof that God doesn't exist because if it, if it were designed, it would be so much simpler. Like that. Really? Yeah. Where they would just be like Bibles on one side and then the cell stuff on the other side? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck is that can you, to can you scroll up? Is there a link to the original Facebook post? Uh, let's look on Reddit. Look up NASA, NASA cell image Reddit. It's probably interesting as f Humanity is just a 90s cinema carpet pattern. Can you imagine saying something that, like, fi faced, faced with something? I mean, it's a, it's a computer rendering. But faced with something so like breathtaking, and you say humanity is just a '90s cinema carpet pattern, that would be like you t if you told me that you were having a kid or something, and I was like, "Well, kids are like peanuts that come from a peanut bush; they fall off onto the ground. So good luck with that." <laughs> like, can you imagine saying like something so immense, and you're saying, and you're 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 what you say is, "Yeah, well, it looks like the telephone booth from Doctor Who." <laughs> I've watched thousands of science fiction films. <laughs> Source. I've watched thousands of science fiction films and TV shows. That's my source. That's, that's I've saw. I've seen. That's. I've seen this thousands of times in cinema, and entertainment. That's my source, Nick. You okay. Wanna, you want to fact check fair, me now? Fair enough. I mean, how many writers worked on those shows that had that? Hundreds. It's actually a better way of doing research than doing research by watching thousands of different viewpoints. Which, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Does a writer want to look foolish? Half of them got to be true. That goes through a vetting process. Then no writer's going to stamp his work with some fake facts. You know that if it's in a movie, it has to be real. Not only real, the most valid point on the topic. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think? These guys are just writing those words on paper and then they're not getting vetted or corrected? Let's get Reddit off the screen. It's making me piss off. Do you think Hallmark would ever let a movie go through? With some not true fact about abortion? <laughs> Definitely not. Fuel price hysteria. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the price of fuel? I've heard people talk about the price of fuel. Six thirty a gallon for diesel fuel. Whoa! Are you kidding me? They're saying ten dollars a gallon. How are they getting away with this? Pretty soon you're gonna see everybody on bicycles. Leave the truck at home. I'd rather walk. Uh, I think I'm staying home today for twenty five dollars to leave my house. Uh, I'll be cooking at my house. Can you imagine going to work and half your work day is, is to compensate the price of gas? It was costing me $25 a day to drive to work. $30 a day to drive to work for real no bull. So if I didn't sell a car like for two days, it was like, oh, this is starting to add up. Damn. Yeah, not funny. Damn. It's crazy, though. I actually do feel very bad. I remember when Trump was in office, mm -hmm. he was like, eh, fuel cuts are like a t that's fuel prices, that's basically like a tax cut. And I was like, God, this guy will claim fucking... Okay, and it was now you think about it in hindsight, he was totally f right because mm. it's a huge tax cut. Mm. You don't think about it. It's just like very, uh, it's like very old dad way to think about things. Mm -hmm. But it is true. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. what do you, do you ever mean? spin your wheels? What in, like, physically? Mentally, like, really? Mentally? Oh, like, mentally all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where you like, like you I have struggle to, to gain. I took a month off of work to finish my garage because yeah. there's so many things going on that if I was at work, I would literally stick my thumbs through a woman's eyes. Because mm -hmm. here's what would be actually I'll be a customer. Hey, t hello, Sam. Uh, what brings you in today? I'm like this. Oh, hey, uh, <coughs> oh, take it easy. But uh, you, hey, you uh, car? um, yeah, I'm here for my first. Uh, well, I'm here to waste a bunch of your time, and I really oh. want to take a look at the I get it, AMG man. GT. You want to look at them? I have one in stock. Let me get the keys for you. Just give me. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello. 
What's that? Oh, the um, the excavation is going to take two more days at twenty five hundred dollars a day. Well, what am I going to say? It is what it is, right? What were you saying about driving the AMG GT? What were you saying, Sam? Nothing, man. You seem like you're having a bad no, day. No, no, no. It's fine. Oh, yeah, let's go drive one. I'm, I don't want to bother you. I don't want to take any more of your time. No, no, no. Let's go for your a Your headphones ride. popped off Let me there get in the, the engine bay when you drive. <laughs> here's, what I, here's what I want to do. I want to open up the hood of the car. I want to hug. I want to crawl into the engine while it's running, grip around the block as much as I can, and get my hands as low as in the belts as I can without picking them up. Shut the hood as to, as close you as low as you can, and then drive as fast as you can with me on the engine. You know, I feel really uncomfortable right now. I'm Why? Sorry, I've bu- I've done something to upset you. What do you mean? I don't need to look at the AMG. I'm fine, anymore. man. You want to drive a GT or not? I don't need to look at it anymore. I'm okay. <laughs> you need to look at it. how are you going to know what to I'm aspire? I'm fine. Hey, listen, you look like a successful guy. You should be knowing what you're thinking about buying in a year and a half from now when your salary really comes to fruition. This car is going to be like a drop in the bucket for you. Definitely, but I listen, I don't want to take any more. I've seen time. your stuff. I'm I sorry. remember World Peace. I know you have a fake name. <laughs> Look, man, I've done something to upset Dude, you. That's peanut Arbuckle over there. <laughs> Come on, man. You want to drive a GT? It's me. Come on, man. I'm just a friendly salesman. I, I love can't. Your stuff. I have to go. I have to go. No, why? Are you going to go meet up with Nick? I can't, I just look. I got to do something. Okay, thank you very much. I'm you want to go drive a Lambo? I don't know. Listen, I got to get something going on. I know you have something going on in your personal life. Oh right? man, I I love that sketch you did with you uh, like the spinning, TEDx. You seem like you're spinning your wheels right now. No, look. I saw you in the TEDx thing. I was there. I was in the crowd. My friend went to Drexel. <laughs> I know I'm mad about the excavation thing, but no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not. How many times do you do you often do you say often I'm fine? Yeah, me too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Inside my head, it's like uh, I'm fine. I'm punch stabbing a, a woman. <laughs> that's where I'm. St- that's where like they say O.J. Simpson or whoever killed those women stabbed her so hard he like went through her. It was like cartoonish, <sighs> right? But um, but yeah, to finish these things up and uh. I think it was uh, when you're spinning your wheels. Uh, every day I want to do something, and you know when you can't, when you're at a yeah. standstill. There's literally nothing you can do to make the thing go faster. Mm-hmm. You want your NFTs to come out? Mm-hmm. There's nothing you can do, mm-hmm. but you think there is. Mm-hmm. So you constantly f- torture yourself all the time. All the time. That's uh, that happens at least once a day. That's oh. once a day. Yeah. Like right now, I'm like this. Ah, oh, I should be picking up the paint. Mm-hmm. It's ready. Ten gallons. Ben more aura. Went there three times. Stop in on them again. Call Rick Unwin. Call Electrical Box. Like just like mm-hmm. po- po- just, just driving people f-ing crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know if it's starting to take a toll. I don't know if it's the right thing, the wrong thing. How the f- do billionaires become billionaires and running all these uh, enterprises? They, you know what I mean? I think that, I think they have to offload a lot of that into other people. But I think um, with any if you're trying to get anything done, there's a that's just a ton of that. Yeah. Like how many levels of management? I think it's does Mark un- Cuban unavoidable. Have? Like a, like an active billionaire, like a <clears throat> non singular item billionaire. Mm-hmm. You know, like Bill Ackman or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like who's got like his hands and like a lot of irons in the fire. Even if they're small irons or like medium sized yeah. irons. Well, I would, I would imagine they they probably offload all that type of stress onto other. They have people like four because... assistants with assistants. Yeah, yeah. How do they, I mean? Yeah, I guess so. They probably have two really good ones immediately right under them. Mm-hmm. That like they pay like a million bucks a year too. One good assistant is uh, is everything. Is a, is a quality investment. It's a really good investment. But what the f- man, I just I don't know. I just I feel I feel bad complaining about it. But this is what I wanted. You know, we all wanted this. There's a um, you know what, what line was? Re- Can you look up uh, YouTube? Secession. Everything is in motion. Everyone starts to carve me out. There's a line. Nothing and- is a line. Everything everywhere is always moving, forever. Everything everywhere is always moving forever. That's crazy. Mm. That's a crazy thing. But you, it's, it's like if you're um, if you're trying to do anything, you never get any peace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the the concept of like a vacation or something, it's just completely absurd. Because if you if you transplanted you to like Cabo, yeah. or something like you would you would be stressing about 
The garage. The garage. Or yeah, it's called the garage. Like I would. I, it, there's no. There's no peace. There's no like respite at no. all, no. ever. No, I'm never in a f- state which is. If you're trying to do something, if you're con- if you're content to ru- to float along and be like normal and have like normalcy, then you get a, you can find a little places to get breaks. But if you're trying to if you're trying to do something, you don't really get any rest from from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it's because every it's because the other people out there, your competitors, are trying to outwork you. And if you don't think you have competitors, competitors are just the you know. The the faceless economic factors that are making the gas price go up, for example, it's the re- the reason why yeah. you can't buy a house for thirty thousand dollars. That's what that's what your competitors are. It's not like you're up against yeah. Rick Nochfert, who's yeah, yeah. A, a, <laughs> Pat j- lied. a jar salesman from <laughs> Schoon Socket. Like it's <laughs> yeah. not what your competitor is. Your competitor yeah. is just the fact that you're you're in an economic system with other people who are trying to maximally benefit with minimal input as well and you have to be better than them 